Did you know that Donald Trump has over 80 congressional endorsements? DeSantis holds just five. Did you know that Tim Scott has promised to finish the border wall if he is elected? Scott also said that he would use technology to surveil the border. Did you know that Ron DeSantis has expressed support for an impeachment inquiry into President Biden? DeSantis said that the corruption is incredible. Did you know that Italy plans to leave China's Belt and Road Initiative? In 2019, Italy became the first G7 nation to join the pact. Did you know that Joe Biden leads Donald Trump in a morning consult poll? Biden garnered 43% support while Trump garnered 42%. Did you know that Joe Biden is not well trusted with the economy? A CNN poll found 63% of Americans disapproving of Biden's handling of the economy. Did you know that the House China Committee launched an investigation into BlackRock? The goal is to see if the firm is funding companies that develop and build weapons for China's military. Did you know that Ron DeSantis said that theories of fraud in the 2020 election were not proven true? DeSantis also said that theories of stolen votes were unsubstantiated. Did you know that the Biden administration will invest $125 million into 43 small businesses? The businesses were chosen because they serve underserved communities. Did you know that the Eurozone saw its GDP grow by 0.3% from March to June? Previously, the Eurozone saw negative growth during the past two quarters. Did you know that John Barrasso came out in defense of Donald Trump following the recent indictment? Barrasso said that the Department of Justice is being weaponized against a political opponent. Did you know that Kevin McCarthy has accused the Department of Justice of indicting Donald Trump to distract from claims that GOP-led committees have gathered about President Biden and his son Hunter Biden? Did you know that Ron DeSantis said that he would consider a national TikTok ban if elected? DeSantis stated that the app is creating a security vulnerability for the U.S. and mines much data. Did you know that Ron DeSantis received 35 endorsements from South Carolina lawmakers and local leaders? He previously received 15 endorsements from state legislators in the state. Did you know that Mike Pence's presidential campaign raised just over $1.1 million during the second quarter of this year? An Align Super PAC raised just over $2.6 million. Did you know that Vivek Ramaswamy is suing the Department of Justice and filing a Freedom of Information Act records request? The goal is to find more details about the recent indictments on Donald Trump. Did you know that Donald Trump leads in an Iowa GOP primary poll by coefficient? Trump garnered 46% support. DeSantis followed with 16. Tim Scott came third with 10. Did you know that Donald Trump leads in an Iowa GOP primary poll by Fox Business? Trump garnered 46% support. DeSantis followed with 16. Tim Scott came third with 11. Did you know that the U.S. government saw its credit rating lowered by Fitch from AAA to AA+. Fitch cited repeated debt limit political standoffs, an inadequate fiscal framework and a complex budgeting process. Did you know that the conservatives raised nearly $8 million from almost 47,000 people from April to June? The liberals raised just $3.2 million from over 30,000 people during the same time span. Did you know that Nikki Haley dodged a question on whether Donald Trump should drop out of the 2024 presidential race? Haley responded that Trump isn't the right president going forward despite having been the right president in the past. Did you know that Ron DeSantis is not worried about a government shutdown? He said that the government doesn't actually shut down and that non-essential workers are made to stop working before saying it's ridiculous that the government even hires such workers. Did you know that Donald Trump came under fire from his former chief of staff? Mick Mulvaney said that he is working hard to have someone else be the nominee and out of all the leading GOP candidates, Trump is most likely to lose the general election. Did you know that Chris Christie's presidential campaign will get some aid from an aligned super PAC? Tell It Like It Is has raised $5.9 million and reported $5.45 million on hand in a filing with the FEC. Did you know that Joe Biden is not very popular among Democrats? A New York Times and Siena College poll found that 64% of Democratic voters would prefer someone other than Biden to be the Democratic nominee for 2024. Did you know that Donald Trump is believed by some to have acted illegally following the 2020 election? An APNORC poll found 45% believed that Trump had done something illegal related to the events of January 6. Did you know that Donald Trump was found leading in a GOP primary poll by the New York Times and Siena College? Trump garnered 54% support. DeSantis followed with 17. No one else scored above 3%. Did you know that the Biden administration has sanctioned two Chinese companies for their use of forced labor? A total of 24 Chinese companies have been sanctioned for forced labor as part of the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act passed in 2021. Did you know that Donald Trump leads in a GOP primary poll by Reuters and Ipsos? Trump garnered 47% support. 
DeSantis followed with 14. Mike Pence came third with 8. Vivek Ramaswamy sat at 7. Did you know that Mike Pence previously expressed support for bans on abortions over non-viable pregnancies? Pence said he had heard stories of women who were told they would have non-viable pregnancies before going on to have healthy pregnancies and a healthy deliveries. Did you know that Joe Biden holds a lead in a Democratic primary poll by The New York Times and Siena College? Biden garnered 64 percent support. Robert Kennedy Jr. followed with 13. Marianne Williamson came third with 10. Did you know that the U.S. sent over 3,000 sailors and Marines to the Red Sea aboard the USS Baton? Since 2019, Iran has seized several ships to pressure the West over negotiations over its collapsed nuclear deal with world powers. Did you know that Ron DeSantis could lose out on a big donor? Robert Bigelow said that DeSantis needs to target moderates, or Bigelow's support could be revoked. Bigelow has given $20 million to the DeSantis-aligned super PAC never back down. Did you know that there is some concern that Donald Trump is guilty of charges alleging the falsification of business records related to a payment to Stormy Daniels? A Politico magazine slash Ipsos poll found that 48% of respondents believe that Trump is guilty. Did you know that Donald Trump has received a boost in Alabama? Trump won the endorsements of the entire GOP U.S. House delegation from the state and five statewide elected officials. Alabama has the fifth highest number of delegates among Super Tuesday states. Did you know that Donald Trump leads strongly in a South Carolina GOP primary poll by Fox Business? Trump garnered 48% support. Nikki Haley followed with 14. DeSantis came third with 13. Tim Scott came next with 10. Did you know that Donald Trump's joint fundraising committee raised $53.8 million in the first half of the year? However, the committee and its two affiliates have collectively spent $57 million over the same period, which could put pressure on Trump's finances. Did you know that China has exported over $100 million worth of drones to Russia this year? Chinese exports of ceramics have also increased by 69% to Russia to over $225 million. Ceramics are a component used in body armor. Did you know that Meta will be removing news for all Canadian users on Facebook and Instagram within a few weeks? This is in response to a law that will require tech giants to enter into agreements that compensate Canadian news outlets for content shared or otherwise repurposed on their platforms. Did you know that Donald Trump has been indicted for alleged actions following the 2020 election? This includes conspiracy to defraud the United States and conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding. The indictment also accused Trump of trying to take advantage of the Capitol riot to hold on to power. Did you know that Elizabeth Warren and Lindsey Graham previously unveiled a bill targeting tech giants? The bill would create an agency charged with oversight of large tech companies and seek to promote industry competition and consumer privacy online. The bill would also require dominant platforms to be licensed. Did you know that the European Parliament neglected to undertake a number of actions following the outbreak of Qatargate? The parliament did not launch its own inquiry into what really happened, decided not to force MEPs to declare their assets, and has no plans to strip any convicted MEPs of their gold-plated pensions. Did you know that the EU imposed new sanctions on Belarus? This includes bans on exporting aircraft engines and drones as well as restrictions on the sale of semiconductors, camera equipment and other technology that could aid Russia's military. Belarus state TV presenters were also added to a sanctions list. Did you know that the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic will be holding a probe on COVID-19 vaccine mandates and related policies at federal government agencies? A number of departments will be investigated, including the Department of Defense, the Department of Labor, and the Department of Health and Human Services. Did you know that Ron DeSantis came out in support of Tommy Tuberville's blockage on military promotions in response to a Pentagon abortion policy? The policy pays the travel costs for service members who don't have local access to reproductive health care, including abortions. DeSantis claimed the policy violated the law. Did you know that the U.S. saw illegal border crossings drop in June to their lowest level since February 2021? Border officials apprehended 99,545 individuals in between ports of entry at the southern border in June. This is the first time this figure has fallen below 100,000 since February 2021. Did you know that the Department of Justice announced that two U.S. Navy sailors were arrested for espionage? Jing Kaowei was arrested on charges that he sent classified information and documents to China for over a year about U.S. naval and defensive capabilities. Wen Hangzhou is accused of recording military information photos, and videos for China. Did you know that the EU saw 72,631st-time asylum applicants in April 2023? 
This is a 34% increase from April 2022. Syrians were the largest group, standing at 9,420 followed by Afghans at 7,405. Ukrainians sat at just 895.